Well, you know, obviously we're a week away, so it's nice to it's nice to be that close to opening uh, opening the year, uh, coming off of a 2018 Mountain West Conference Championship. Um, this team is is well equipped to make another run and defend their title. Um, I'm excited about about what the future holds for these guys. So they've been working hard, and uh, we'll see we'll see what happens. What's that feeling like when this gets started every year? Kind of like a Christmas morning, first day of school type of thing? Yeah, it's a little bit. You know, you kind of, um, when you get started, when you come back January 15th, and then and then it slowly gets into team practice, and then, you know, week by week, you're, I don't want to ever say you're counting down the weeks, but it does happen. It's it's human. And then uh, now that you're actually seven days away, and really this time, this time next Friday, we'll be right in the middle of playing, um, playing Missouri State. So it's an exciting time. I think, uh, like I'll tell our guys today, if they're not excited, then they gotta, they gotta check themselves a little bit. But uh, it's ex it, it's an exciting time for everybody in the program. And speaking of you know, being excited, Otis, I was watching him hit. He's got to be just ready, chomping at the bit, right? Yeah, I mean, he's coming off a redshirt year. Um, obviously, he was highly touted coming out of high school. Um, and then came here and, and played a little bit as a freshman and then got, got hurt. So uh, he hasn't played in a real game in over a year. So we're looking forward to having him back and uh, having him contribute. And on that note, as far as outfield goes, can you kind of go over what the outfield looks like for you right now? You know, it's, it's, it's still sorting itself out, I think. Um, I think you're going to see Daniel Perry's going to be going to be there. Uh, you know, we moved Jalen from shortstop to center field. Um, he'll add he'll add some uh, not some a lot of value out in center field, uh, and then you got Wes Hatton back, uh, and you got Otis back. You got Nick Siemens who's going to get uh, quite a bit of playing time. Also a freshman, uh, Sawyer Jacksick's a freshman. Uh, he'll get some playing time. Uh, Julian Boyd, another highly touted recruit from Southern Cal, he's he's going to get a lot of playing time. So it, it's going to be there's going to be. Um, s some battles going on throughout the 56 game season, and the good thing is you can bring Perry back in the infield. You can bring Jalen back in the infield. Uh, you can you can do quite a bit. Can the momentum of last year be carried over and uh, probably kind of the, the heartbreak, so to speak, or do you just kind of start things back? Uh, I, th I, I think you don't forget the feelings for sure, uh, the good or the bad. But I, I think it's a new year, a new season. Um, you know, we're last year's team had their own goals. This year's team has new goals, and um, I think overall you're trying to just keep the momentum as a program and where it's where it's come um, and where it was, obviously, and then what it's done in the last recently the last uh, five years. So you're just trying to maintain that standard of excellence that that uh, we've created here, and that that's all we can really ask from these guys. How has the weather kind of impacted uh, preparations for this this upcoming? You know, it's been okay. Um, it, it's been fine. We don't really, we haven't. I think Monday was the only day, really, we hit inside. So other than that, we've we've been on the field. We've been practicing. Uh, like I tell these guys, it's 95% humidity in Omaha. So it's yes, it is. You got to deal with with one, the other, and uh, you can't really let it affect your day to day preparation. Mount West, the last four years, only gotten one team. Yeah, the regional. What, what do you think the conference has to do to be able to get back to being that multi-bid league that it was for the first 15 years it existed? You know, over time, I mean, it's a great question. Over time, we the coaches do such a great job every year. We sit down and meet and, and we we host a round table about what we think we can do better. And, you know, I, I think I think obviously the adjustment was made to the tournament um, is, is the last four teams or the top four teams, excuse me, um, get to play a, a, of basically like a regional and I think that helps with the RPI. Um, I just think we have to just keep growing as a, as a conference in terms of who we're playing. Um, you know, I think the big deal right now with the RPI is playing out of region teams. Um, so not trying to beat up too much within your region. Um, that, that seems to be, I think, one of the, one of the issues um, that, that you know, if speaking for us, that we have to do, we have to go outside. That's why going to Texas State tournament is great. You go on a on a weekend, you play three teams, three different teams, um, and, and outside your region. So it's it's it, it helps. But that's one thing that we have to do, um, and our conference does. They they do such a great job at scheduling their non-conference opponents. I mean, so they they'll we'll get there. You explained uh, last year about how the system works, about what 
your RPI and everything. You said mm -hmm. who you play and then who you play and also who they play. Yeah. Is that still the same? Has anything been adjusted? Yeah, same thing. And, you know, I think there's some talk, I know, with basketball going to that, that net um, deal. I think there's a little bit of talk, but we haven't, we haven't crossed into that. Uh, yet, so we're gonna. It's still about RPI, but the bottom line is about RPI is what it, we tell when we sit around as coaches is you have to win too, and you have to, you know, you have to take care of yourself um, and your program, and you guys got to get to X amount of wins every year. And if you don't get to that number, then then you're gonna rely on the tournament. Every season and every team is different. Uh, in the early portions through practice, what are some of the biggest differences you noticed about this year's team? You know, it's probably pointed out by a former player as Justin Bridgman was here um, a few weeks ago working out and just watching things. You know, he was on the first team in 16 and then coming out now. And um, there's just, they have their own unique style, but the styles within the, the confines of the program and, and it runs itself, I think. And that's that started, I thought, with last year's team. You know, in 17, you brought in 13 freshmen carried over to 18 um, and we had so much leadership we had a lot of veteran guys and then this year the same thing you return 20 guys so they know the system they know what has to be done uh, there are a lot a lot of times they're correcting themselves before we even get to them so it, it's been it's been fun to watch them grow as people and and as leaders because they're going to be the next phase of of leading other people and other generations as we get going I don't know how many people are still here from Jay Johnson's recruitment, but do you feel like this is finally your team that everybody who's here uh, had to listen to your vision and commit to that when they decided to come to Nevada? Yeah, I think there's, you know, no matter where, whenever you take over, they're always your players. And I think that's one thing as a coaching staff that um, you can't say that they're, they're not your players or they are your players. When we took over in 15, they became our players. And, um, they were coached by a great coach and Jay and the staff did a tremendous job. And um, obviously we're trying to build build uh, on that success and then also create our own vision. But, you know, these guys were, as you say, they they, they had to buy into our vision and uh, on where we want this thing to go. So um, it's it's been it's been good to see them grow over time and, and to get those 13 freshmen in here and now they're juniors. And um, it, it's it's been fun to watch. What's the back end of the bullpen look like right now? It's a good question. Uh, <laughs> you know, we got. I think we got options. I think. Um, I think you'll see a, a lot. You got Bon and Font, uh, who's done a great job. You got a incoming JC Shane. Um, Shane's done a great job. You got Grant Ford in the mix. Um, Cooper Powell, Jordan Jackson. I mean, you got you got a, you got quite a bit of guys in the mix in the back end. And I think I think that's good when you have depth there. You can just it allows you to shorten the game. Um, and that's something that. That obviously we, is a big key to anybody's success. Is it significant to start on the road for so many weeks in a row? Do you bond better? Do you, do you grow more away from home? Well, the one thing is you got to win on the road. I mean, that's the bottom line. When you win a national championship, you got to win on the road. You're not at home. Um, so I, I love going on the road. I think it's great. I think it allows these guys to grow up. Uh, you know, because here you can get comfortable, right? You, you have your normal routine. Now you got to develop another a road routine. Um, but it allows you. Um, like you said, to bond a little bit more, and it's just the, the X amount of guys that, that are with you, and that's all you got. And, and, and uh, But I love going on the road. The first 16 games are on the road. So, like I said, you, you got to go into a super regional and win on the road. You have to go into a regional and win on the road, and you got to go to Omaha and not win at home. So, bring it on. What's the starting rotation kind of sorting out to be? Yeah, you know we got a battle today, so we'll uh, we're, we're just not today, but the weekend, trying to trying to finalize some pieces on where we're gonna go um, during opening weekend. So we don't have that just yet, but uh, I'll let you know how the weekend goes. New fence, it looks like. New fence, new fence is it's it looks good. It's uh, so basically all the greens gonna be padded. Um, we're gonna keep the slats in there just to protect it from the weather, and then you're gonna be able to bringing back a lot of the old school, be able to look in through the fence. Um, gonna bring those RVs back out, out here to Don Weir Field. So we're, we're gonna, uh, it's good. It's gonna be all padded. Like I said, a lot of it's gonna be padded. The poles, the administration done such a tremendous job with, with the improvements in this park. So it's been great. With what you guys did in conference last year, would anything less be considered a disappointment or a failure at this point? I mean, I, 
I think that the only thing you tell our guys every day is, are they are they preparing to the best of their ability? Are they attacking the day? Um, and that's that's really the message every day. It's never. Um, I think if you do that, then you'll put yourself in position. And all I think you can ever ask for is to be in good position. I feel like to have this thing going again, man. Back out here, and game a week away. Yeah, you know it's it's an amazing feeling. Uh, hitting the ground running is always a good feeling. Uh, you got season coming up in just about a week. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to travel again. Coach said there is momentum you carry over from last year, but at the same time, it's a completely new year. There's new goals. How much do you take from last year, or do you just say, hey, let's, let's zero zero now? Yeah, I think uh, a big part of that is taking the good stuff. You know, you, you got to take all the successes and kind of build off of that and take all that confidence. <clears throat> and then also the negatives where you have, you can learn from them. You know, there's, there's lessons in everything that we do, and all the hard work we put in is uh, definitely another point of uh, momentum that we build. When you go through a year like you had last year, there's clearly a, a ton of positives. So when you go into this year, what, how do you look back at last year and try to you know, keep that momentum going but realize that you're still going to grow as a baseball player? Yeah, that's a, that's a big question. You know, you have to realize that last year was last year, and it's over with, and you got to look uh, forward to the new year. And you really just got to start over. you got to start fresh and kind of start building a new empire. And with this team, I think we do have a really good potential of going really far and getting a lot of wins and having a lot of fun. What do you think is going to be required to take that next step to get to a regional and get the way this program has been since 2000? Uh, I think a lot of hard work. Uh, I think as a team, we're pretty prepared. Uh, Coach Bruce, Coach Silverman, Bennett and Abe, they all prepare us very well um, for the mental side and the physical side as well. Um, I think it's going to take a lot of leadership from the older guys and some of the younger guys. A lot of the younger guys, like Owen Shards, has stepped up um, to fulfill a big leadership role. So I think that'll be a big part in uh, this season. What do you think the strengths of this team are just on paper as you, you know, go in through you? Yeah, and, you know, paper always doesn't tell the truth. Um, once the lights come on, you hit the ground running. And I think every part of our game is a strength. I think we got, we got good pitching. You know, we got Jake Jackson returning. We got Ryan Anderson coming back as well. A uh, couple other guys, a lot of JC transfers, Ben Purcell, Josh Congress, they're looking pretty well. Um, and then on the offensive side too, we got a lot of hitters returning. Um, big outfield, <clears throat> lot, some power guys in the outfield, some contact, got some speed guys as well. Um, we, should, we should be pretty good this year. Starting on the road for your first 16, do you guys do you guys grow more away from home when you kind of have to just hunker down and be together? Yeah, 100%. Um, and I actually had a old uh, coach always tell me that championships are won on the road, and I think that stands true because if you can learn to win outside of your element, because it's easy to win here at home when the lights come on, but once you're away in an uncomfortable territory where you're not, you don't really know what's going to happen, how the ball bounces and everything. Once you learn how to really conquer that kind of mental block, you uh, you got a better chance at everything. everything. So feeling like when you get this thing started every year, man? Is it kind of like the first time every time? Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely uh, really exciting just to get another team on the other side. Uh, we've been playing a lot of inner squads and stuff, so it gets a little monotonous playing the same team every time. So yeah, it's definitely exciting to go down there. We're going down to Texas to play a new team and uh, kind of see what we got. So yeah, I'm excited for it. First 16 on the road. How significant is it to get away and start your season in that regard, knowing that you know, you're not going to play all your games here? You got to have success away. Yeah, I think it's really good. Um, it's really good just to, like get bonding and stuff like that because you stay in the hotel room with a teammate the whole trip. So I think that's big. And then uh, pretty much if you're going to play in a regional, you're probably going to be playing on the road. So it's good to uh, get on the road and get comfortable doing that. I think. How much do you guys look back on last year and use it as motivation, fuel, but also realize like, hey, that's obviously in the past now. Uh, I think that we can definitely take some positives from it. Um, some of the stuff you just got to kind of wash away and uh, forget about, but I think there's definitely some, some stuff you can take as motivation and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I think that I've learned from last year, and I think a lot of guys have, and we'll take the positives from it and move on. What do you do in the off season that's different during the season to keep yourself going and getting yourself in shape and everything else as far as everything, all the quality of your, your pitching goes? Um, well, like this last summer, I played. I went and played summer ball for a month and a half or so, so... That was really beneficial, I think, just to go out and get some more innings and uh, work, working out a lot and just kind of trying to refine some pitches and get some more reps. So that was, I think that was really beneficial for myself. Has your preparation been different, expecting to be a starter rather than you know, coming in and, uh, a 
Uh, to an extent, I think. Uh, I mean, like, it's pretty much the same basis. You kind of just so, still have to go out there and pitch. But, yeah, there's definitely more of a routine that comes to starting, uh, knowing that you're going to pitch a certain day. You kind of prepare differently. But um, in that in that regard, it's kind of the same. You're still going out there and facing hitters and stuff like that. When you look at the starters on this team, I guess who kind of stands out to you, or, you know, besides yourself on guys who could take a step forward and, and maybe hold down a larger role? Uh, I mean, I, I think the Sharks could – could uh, be a good addition for us. I think he can do some good things. Um, uh, freshman year, is, there's a lot to learn. Uh, I mean, I know personally myself, uh, freshman year, you, you have to take a lot of uh, steps forward. But yeah, I think that he could be a big, big addition for us. And uh, yeah, I think there's still a lot of holes that are still honestly questionable. So we'll see next weekend who really steps into that. That starting role. And obviously, you're, hit, you're facing a lot of uh, hitters on the other side when you're doing inner squads. Has anybody kind of stood out from that side on uh, guys that have taken a step forward or might be able to surprise some fans? Uh, yeah, I think that uh, Josh Moore's a pretty good hitter. He's he's a pretty tough out. Uh, I think Dylan Shrum's a pretty good hitter, too. He's uh, definitely gotten better as the years have gone on. We've, we were fresh together, and I've kind of watched him grow. Um, but yeah, I think those would be two of our main guys. Uh, we have some other guys. I think Jalen can do a lot of things. He's tough out. He's kind of scrappy. So, um, yeah, I mean, there'll be guys that'll they'll be in the lineup for sure. I feel like this team can get to a regional and kind of break that that streak that's that's been going on for a while. Yeah, I, I don't see any, any reason why not. Uh, I think that we have all the talent that it would take to get there, and um, it just depends on us, honestly. Just going about business the right way and preparing and working hard at, at it. So, yeah. Half the season a week away, man. I'm sure it was a long off season. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting, man. Just want to get out there and play. I mean, just tired of practice all the time. I want to play somebody different. So, I mean, we're all looking forward, just like everybody else. Uh, when you go back to last year, how much will you take from it to use as motivation, learning experiences, or how much do you just kind of try to put it away? I mean, you take everything with a grain of salt. Uh, you want to you wanna take the positives out of it, but also recognize the negatives. Um, feel like everybody's worked. We're okay with just being the Mountain West champions. Now we want to go to regionals, go to super regionals. That's what everybody wants. And it's time to bring it, I think so. What's going to be required to take that next step? Uh, I think chemistry, which I think we have a lot of it. Um, I think trusting one another. And then at the end of the day, just playing instead of play, playing against the ball rather than playing against the opponent. Thinking about maybe shortstop and also some outfield. Um, yeah. How do you prepare for either of those? Is it, is it going to be different this year when there's that potential? Uh, no, I don't think so. I just think you just got to go out there and play your role that day. I mean, I think if you just take that with that, then you can just do whatever you have to do. I mean, I feel like if I can just go out there and play center or play short that day, and if we get the W, I did my job. When you take a look at yourself and the rest of your teammates so far, what do you think could be a real asset this season? Uh, myself individually, I think getting on the base, causing havoc, using my speed, um, and then being a leader vocally and by example. I think that's the most important thing for me. You played a lot of outfield previously, or is this uh, your first foray out there? No, this is going to be my first time, but <laughs> I think it's going to be cool because I played football growing up, and I just feel like it's like me chasing down a pass. So at this, I just think it's going to be fun. I feel like a little dog out there. That's why I tell coach. <laughs> so you played defensive back, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, I felt like I was prime time. Okay. <laughs> well, cool. well Do you anticipate center field being your more primary position than shortstop? Or? Uh, I think whatever coach needs me to do, I'll do it. I mean, I'm okay with anything. If it's short that day, if it's center field that day, it doesn't matter. I just want to get the win. I mean, it, a lot of road games in a row, but giving out cold this year, I'm yeah. sure you don't mind going <laughs> to Texas. Oh, no. I actually grew up in Texas when I was little, so it's, it's kind of cool to go back home. And, um, I mean, I to get warm, you can't beat it, so. Yeah. Why not? I know you guys get to host the Mountain West tournament here, but how much you guys want to at least put your name in the conversation for a regional bid without having to win uh, the re you know the, the tournament? I mean that's all that's always the goal. I mean, but we want to win one game at a time. So we're not trying to look at that big picture. We just want to go one game at a time. So with that being said, that's Missouri State, and then the next day, and the next day, that's how we look at it. I think teams will treat you differently as the reigning conference champion. I mean, is there more of a target? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're comfortable with the. With the returners, we're comfortable with the target on our back. And I feel like if we just teach the, the younger guys how to be comfortable with that, we'll be fine at the end of the day. You said you feel like a dog out there. I'm just curious if you breed of choice, perhaps? Uh, I want two bull mastiffs, so I'm going to say bull mastiff. Beautiful dogs, yeah. No, I mean, you, it's, always a, it's always a rare occasion in those. Bouncing off the, the going away from home, though, and obviously you get to go back to Texas, but 
what is the significance of playing the, what, your first 16 away from Reno? Is it, is it, is it a chance to bond you know, on and off the field? Definitely. I mean, those road trips is how you get a bond with everybody. You really get to see who everybody is when the time is going tough. You're away from home, away from school. Um, I think being on the road is going to like really like determine what this team is. So I feel like it's going to be really good for us. What's it feel like to have uh, the season a week away, man? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I think everyone's gone through the preparation during the off season, working hard, uh, lifting, just getting out here and getting after it. And I think everyone's ready to go. I think we're finally ready to compete against somebody else rather than just ourselves and just get going and get 56 games underway. Are you guys still hungry from kind of the taste that was left last year, or do you have to just kind of wash it away? I think uh, you can take the positives and the negatives out of it because, I mean, being, a, being in the Mountain West tournament, yeah, you get the experience and everything, but kind of left a bitter taste in our mouths and not being able to go there as a one seed and win. So now we got to learn from that and take the experience that we gained and uh, get ready for this year and get ready to make a push for the regional. I mean, Owen's obviously a very talented kid. Uh, what advice can you give him to be able to make that adjustment as a freshman and thrive like you did? Uh, I think just enjoy the moment and just be ready and be prepared for uh, whatever Coach Bruce and Coach Bennett are going to put on your shoulders and kind of just go out there and compete and have the time of your life, man. I mean, last year, all I wanted to do was compete and just get after other opponents and just try to beat them and be the best I could possibly be, and that's all I could pass on to him is just compete and do your job every day and what's asked of you. Mark on that Friday spot's open. There's always kind of an allure for being a Friday starter. Is that something that you really want uh, yeah, heading I mean, into this that's, season? That's been a goal of mine since the end of last year, knowing Mark's going to be gone and uh, there hasn't been anything set yet. And so just take it day by day and we'll see after this weekend how it goes and what Coach Bruce decides to do. Does your routine change after having that year under your belt for this year? I think I don't think the routine changes. I think the preparation changes a little bit. Last year I think I got a little tired. So uh, knowing that, I kind of changed my work habits this off season and kind of worked out a little harder, uh, conditioned a little stronger, and just to get everything going. And that way I could sustain going through 16, 17 starts a year and making a push with this team in June. What is it about this team that you think can make them play in for June? Competitiveness and the mentality. I mean, I've seen these guys day in and day out for the last eight months, and every single person has the same competitive mentality. And just being strong and going through everything together, I think we're all prepared really well for uh, what we want to accomplish. And just being together and I mean, just staying competitive and staying hungry. Is that a different mentality than you felt the team had last year? And I guess if so, why, why do you think it, it is a little bit more heightened? Uh, I don't think it's a different mentality. I think the competitiveness has upped a little bit. Um, I think the leadership as well has upped a little bit. I mean, older guys are starting to take roles and kind of crack down on and put the pressure on other guys to compete and stay strong and do their jobs properly.